to the cryophere of making off the first episode. Today we're going to talk about the beginning of cryophere, the first the start of the project. And I'm Andreas Rönnberg, also known as Rampo, and I'm from Sweden, and I'm Swedish and all that. And I'm James, also known as Memory, I'm from England. So, so I've been making, uh, I was practicing making models, and uh, I was using Ming Shape, and uh, the very first model I made was uh, Simon, actually. Uh, actually, the main protagonist. And uh, <coughs> the reason why I used my face was because I was I just wanted to make it quick. And uh, using my face was actually just just took some photos and uh, uh, yeah, it was mainly just practice and that's just it. Then I started making some uh, maps, uh, just quick maps. And then I asked James if he wanted to join since. We both had you working with Afraid of Monsters uh, in the director's cut version. What happened next? I was just a uh, random ship and started making just like importing <coughs> some random uh, models I made for another mod that never never uh, was finished. That was a nice tip on that sheet. Yeah, it's just a nice tip animation not used, but that was old shit. Uh, then what happened after that? It was just progression of just making more and more stuff, coming up with ideas. We'll go over the ideas and cut content in other episodes. Yeah. Um, so it did actually start up with the map where Simon wakes up, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, I started making just just a random map. Because uh, the map was... Well, I'm not going to go into the, the details of the story and the planning and all that, because we'll do it on the next episode. But <coughs> I just... They started making a map, and it was just using the the Afraid of Monsters textures. It was very simple. It was never meant to be a mod, I think. It was I don't know. It was just we were just having fun, I guess, just making some some random stuff, uh, basically as practice and, and that kind of stuff. And then we just worked more and just worked and worked, and then eventually I came up with the name of uh, Cry of Fear. And uh, I can't remember how, why I, I gave it the name Cry of Fear, but I guess it was we were just talking about names, <coughs> talking about random names. There's no like interesting. It's all just the beginnings. It's all just yeah. We thought of this random stuff. Yeah, we thought of that random thing. There's no like design documents or anything like that. No. <coughs> yeah. So that's kind of how, how we just started making it. And you, and you just were you coding really small stuff like changing the color from yellow to red. The yeah. Light, yeah. yeah, it was really simple. And, and then eventually we, after a couple of months, I can't remember how long it took, but then we uploaded it to ModDB. <coughs> Not the build, but just the page. Uh, of course, yeah, we, we, we announced it to everyone. Uh, told them that we were working on a, on a project, and then I think that's when we we decided to finish it. Yeah, actually make it. Because when we get uploaded it, uh, when we showed it on Mod DB, that was when we didn't really have a story or anything like that, right? Is that correct? Yeah, we we didn't even know how it would end or or anything. We just we didn't even know what we were working on. It just for something. And it's kind of stupid, but also I think it's kind of cool. Uh, <coughs> and that's also when we formed the Team Six Color. Uh, and as you can tell, the name is Swedish, so I came up with that the, the stupid name. But it sounds kind of cool. So uh, yeah, that's Team Six Color, and that's Cry Fear, and that's that's how it all started. And the uh, next episode, I guess, <laughs> really short episode, by the way. Yeah. On the next episode, we will uh, talk about more of uh, how we were planning and uh, our t intentions of Cryfair, like how how we wanted not to be. So, I guess you should uh, subscribe and like and favor and comment and say what you want us to say, and we will say it. Ask questions, say anything. You could do that. Do you have a question and answers? Thing. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, for a while. But yeah, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.